Anti Kuro Ninja here, and welcome to the Anti Kuro Ninja Show. Now, this series is not about reviewing Toku news, but we've got a lot of Toku news to talk about in this episode. But before we talk about that, I've got something else I want to talk about. So I think it was yesterday, but anyway, Toku Yai had its 50th episode. And the 50th episode was about rewriting Super Critic Tyson. But here's the thing. It was really, really disappointing for the 50th episode of a series. And the reason why I say that is because Toku Boy Studios, who is the one who created and hosts Toku Yai, he turned down so many questions. And yet for some reason, he still wondered why it was such a short episode. Now, don't get me wrong. Toku Yai is a great concept because it has the audience participation in it. And that's what makes it so fun. The only problem I have is with the host. And this is because of his responses to the answers, even in questions that should be fun, like rewriting Super Critic Tyson. He also comes across as an unlikable person sometimes. I might make a longer rant video on this topic, but enough about that let's talk about what actually matters in the anti-kuro ninja show kikai sentai zenkaiger has a new villain who is also an evil ranger this new evil ranger is known as stay caesar and he is the rival to zenkaiser now what makes him interesting is that he has a black and purple color scheme, and black and purple are the two colors that represent Dark Prism, an outer realm in the Kuro Ninja multiverse that appears in so many fan fictions that have to do with the Kuro Ninja multiverse. But that's probably just a coincidence. And speaking of coincidences, here's something else that has been revealed. Apparently in the Ryu Soldier vs. Kira Major movie, the Ryu Soldiers are gonna get new power-ups based on the Kira Majors. And when I looked at the power-ups appearance, it reminded me of this post that Kuro Ninja made on Instagram. Now this post was made on the 3rd of March last year, but it's not the first time that Kuro Ninja has been shown to have good foresight. Going back to Zen Kaiger, we have some more information about the sixth ranger of the Zen Kaiger's, Two Kaiser. Apparently, he's gonna be using the Gear Dalinger to transform. Now, we still may not know what Two Kaiser looks like, but on some unrelated news, the Go Kaiger's newest member, who is a Gold Ranger, has been revealed. And now for the last thing I want to talk about. I would like to give congratulations to my Earth One counterpart, Kuro Ninja, for reaching 300 subscribers. He also posted a top five list for a subscriber special on who he considers to be the top five least worst Red Rangers in Super Sentai. And unsurprisingly, it did very well because it's a top five list. Of course, it's going to do well. Anyway, that is all for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I have nothing left to say.